Hi there, crafty friends! Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery! My name is Robin. My husband behind the camera, behind the computer is Bill. And we are coming to you from just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. So welcome to our craft studio. Come on in. I have a very functional craft to show you today. One of my one of my favorite things to do. So hop on, say hello. I'm going to get my computer set up and turned on so I can communicate so my bot can communicate with you. That one right there. Save that. Publish that. That should do it. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 everybody. Hop on, say hello. Let us know you're watching. It is 10 o'clock here in Idaho. And so it might be 11, 12, 1 o'clock where you are. Hope it's a good time for you to join us. So come on in, say hello. Hi, Patty. Welcome. Hi, Bill. <laughs> hello. Okay, well. Don't have a lot of people on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and give this announcement. This applies for anybody who's watching the replay. Also, um, we crafters who come on Facebook are trying to build up our following, and these are some things that you can do to help. You can give our page a heart, give our video a heart. You can follow our page, and you can sprinkle it out to your page, to any crafty friends that you know, craft groups you belong to. All of these things help us help facebook take notice of us and we do have our stars activated and we appreciate any support that you give hello cheryl welcome good you got your happy mail yesterday let me know how it goes let me know if you have any questions okay so today hey another patty we've got <gasps> we've got a double burger today two patties hello 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 let me turn this off so when we we are we are hostessing this segment of craft around the clock so when we do that we are looking to get at least 25 people 25 sets of eyeballs on at one time and if we do we will have a drawing at the very end for some happy mail like Cheryl was just mentioning she just got hers yesterday because she won I believe last week so if you would like to get put in that drawing, because we are in faith going ahead with it before we get 25. Um, if you would like to get put in that drawing, hey Tracy, hi Deanna, hey Betty, welcome everybody to all beef patties. <laughs> so if we get 25 viewers at any one time, we will have a drawing at the end to get entered into that drawing. I have my, my trusty little chicken timer. It's set for a random number of minutes. When that timer goes off, Bill is in charge of looking at the very last, the very last comment that came up on his screen. It might look different on yours, but the last comment that comes up on his screen is going to get entered, you know, get their name on a ticket and will be entered into the end of the live drawing. So if you get entered, you want to stick around till the very end so that you can claim your prize. Okay, hello Lori from California. Hello Retta. Hello Carolyn. Hello Paula. Hello, another triple patty. Another patty. Awesome. So glad to have you all. And there we are. We're at 25. So we will be having a drawing. Okay, so let's get started on this craft. I don't know about you. My nose itches. That's not what I don't know about you. That's what I know about me. I don't know about you, but I'm still in the process of taking down Christmas decorations. You know, the, the big stuff is down. Now I'm discovering all the little things I put here and there. And I'm ready to change it out. But you know what? I'm not ready for Valentine's Day yet. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't feel like Valentine's Day needs a whole month of decorations you might feel different and that's fine but I'm not quite ready for Valentine's Day but as you know as crafters we have to be ahead of the head of the game 
Yeah, that is. Shelby. Shelby, Shelby Estlinbaum. Shelby. I had an aunt named Shelby. I love that name. Estlinbaum. Okay, you are for our first entry. Stick around till the end. Okay, let me reset the timer. Okay, Paula finally got hers all down. I'm, I'm still working on it. Anyway, as crafters, we have to be ahead of the game. And if you wait until the second week in February and you go to the craft store, you're not gonna find very much Valentine's themed materials. There it'll all be picked over. So we need to purchase in advance. We need to prep in advance, but I'm just not ready to put it out. Do you agree? Do you agree with me? Hey, Diana. Welcome from Minnesota. First time watcher, I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll think about following our page. So what I like to do is kind of do double duty on my crafts. And I am kind of lazy. I don't want to have to put things away. It'd be easier if I could just flip things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remake our um, uh, double-sided A-frame. So this is our A-frame and right now I have I have my little Christmas tree and my little Christmas bow and this was already double duty because on the back I had my autumn. So when autumn was over I just flipped it around and boom I'm ready for Christmas. I don't have to store this away. The best part about this is this is interchangeable. So I'm going to completely redo this for winter kind of a snowy theme and Valentine's Day. So I will be prepared. Okay, love your coffee So Thank you, I like it too. Okay, haven't taken any Christmas Day. <laughs> well, you don't, have, there are no rules. Hey, Kay. I didn't see, I didn't see what Kay said. Let's scroll back up to Kay. Okay, there we go. You never really got anything up. Well, you, you're, you were in the middle of a move and, and life changes, so that's okay. You, you get a pass. Hey, Betty, holidays are rushed. Okay, so I put this cute little bow on, and I just hot glued it on, so I can just peel it off. And these are held on by some little fake leather straps and screws, and I'm going to dig out my screwdriver, and I'm going to undo this and we're going to remake this for winter and valentine's day and of course there we go now this frame i sell this frame in my shop it comes with not not just the frame but it also comes with two of these wooden uh, surfaces so i'll show you that in just a moment I'm going to take these out. I'm going to try really hard not to lose these because I'm going to need those again. So it comes with two surfaces. One of them is white, whitewashed, and one of them is kind of a natural light brown wood, wood color. And so you get two of them. So actually you can use both sides. You'd have four designs. They also sell replacements, so if you want to have more, which, is, which I'm going to do, if I had like six of them, I could have 12 sides and I could have something for every month of was the that, year. That was, that, was the, that was the chicken? That was Paula Hogue. Paula Hogue. Paula Hogue. Let me get your name down. Okay, you are entered in our drawing. Reset the timer. Okay, so I took the little bands off, and this is this is what I have. I have the white one, which I didn't do anything on the back, so I, I still could. So there's my autumn, and then here is the brown one, and I actually ended up painting it black. So I'm just going to hang on to these. These won't be too hard to store. They won't take up very much space, and I'm going to use some of my replacements. So they also sell replacements. So I'm going to open this up, and we're going to use one of these. And decorate both sides of it so we are good to go for winter and Valentine's Day. Sound good? Cool that idea. Is, Thank you. Issue. Why you I had to move a chair to the garage for the tree. I had to move a chair to. Oh. Did you reset the chicken? I did reset the chicken, yes. Yes. Repurposing, that's the word. 
first time. Welcome, Jamie. I'm glad you are watching. Okay, so this is, what is this? This is a five by seven. It's a five by seven frame. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to do our Valentine's Day. So this is called P.S. I Love You. It's this cute little typewriter. I, you can see I've used it before, but coming out of the typewriter is a little paper that says P.S. I Love You. We're going to keep it kind of simple. And I think I'm going to give this a pink background just because the white is kind of, kind of stark. So I'm going to give it a pink background. I like that idea. Good. I'm glad I can give you some ideas. Now I'm going to paint this up. I'm going to get something to put down underneath it. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to paint this with a sponge because it's a nice flat surface. And if I use a brush, then I tend to have brush strokes. I'm just, I'm using chalk paint. This is ballet slipper. It's kind of a light pink. And I have one of these sponges that I got from the Dollar Tree. They are called nail guard sponges. And they work great if you are painting a, a flat surface. It doesn't have a whole lot of detail in it. So I'm just going to, whoops. I'm just going to paint that up. Goes quickly. Doesn't really leave like brush strokes. Goes fast. Good coverage. Boom. There. I'm done. Okay. Awesome. Don't forget to soak this in water though because if that paint dries then you've ruined your sponge. And that's okay. Okay. So I've got this. Let me dry this really quick. Chalk paint dries really fast. Thank you, Kay. I like that color too. It's kind of, it's not bubblegum Barbie. Thanks, Zena. I, th I like that transfer too. It's one of last year's, but they still have it available. They brought it back out. You like that method of painting. Yes, my good friend Cheryl, um, I, don't think, I haven't seen her on. She's the one that Cheryl Brock showed me, gave me that idea, and I love doing it. It doesn't work for everything. But when it works, it works great. Okay. I'm going to dry that up. And I've got my background. Sponge to Maryland. Welcome, Susan from Maryland. Glad to, glad to have you here. Hope you'll consider following us. Again, if you're just popping on, my name is Robin, and my husband Bill and I together make up Raincross Farms Makery. And we we go live a couple times a week. We've kind of been we've kind of been not being so so uh, oh, consistent. So we haven't really been so consistent lately, but we're gonna get back into it, right, Kay? We're gonna get back into consistency. Okay, okay that was my timer. Okay. And that was Sandy Obermeyer. Sandy Obermeyer. Oh, wow. Thank you for following. Okay, Sandy, you are entered into our drawing for the end. We have like 47 eyeballs. So we might we might give away a bunch of gifts to this afternoon. Okay, checking my time. Okay, because I just painted this and I'm gonna put down a sticky transfer, I don't want the stickiness to pull up that paint that I just put down. So I'm gonna protect it with a thin little layer of wax. This is this is surface wax I sell in my shop. Um, you can use any kind of clear paste wax. You can even use antique an, an antique dark wax if you want, but just a paste wax. This stuff is great because it doesn't smell like a gas station when you open up the lid, like the like some of the paste waxes do. So I'm just putting thin layer over that paint and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little wax on this back side too. We're not going to we're not going to paint the back background. Okay, watching from Oh, Patsy's from Idaho. We're we're in Idaho. Idaho. We're in Idaho. Who are you? Idaho. <laughs> we are we're not we're we're just we're about 15 miles out of Lewiston. We're in a little town called Julieta. East, um, north, northwest Idaho. 
Okay, you didn't know about the wax. Okay, if you are interested in any of the supplies that I'm using, I do have a link to a cart, so you can you can um, take a look at the cart link, see what I have available, see if you're interested. You can get a cup. You can get access to that link by typing the word supplies supplies in the comment, and you will get a link. You can check it out and see what's what. Love that little frame. Yes, the little frame is in the cart link. Okay, so I've got this pink. I've got this, where do I have it? I have it, I have it waxed. Oh, I'm she's going. At Patty's at Patsy's in Moscow. Oh, Moscow, woo, Moscow, Moscow. I know better than that. Yes, you sure are, is. you are like our neighbor. Isn't that That's bittersweet, like 30, good and bad years. news about catching, arresting someone? Oh my goodness. Like I said, good and bad news. Bad that it has to have taken place, but good that finally we're, we're getting some, I don't know, mental, mental relief from the, all the unknown. <laughs> when a waitress asked my husband what kind of potato, he always says Idaho. Well, chances are. Okay, so I'm going to, this is my sticky, reusable, transfer. Deborah wants to know how the weather is in Idaho. Well, depends on the moment. Right now it's kind of, um, what is it, 40s, 50, low 50s, 40s? Uh, that's Kathy Fuller. Kathy Fuller. Okay, let me see. Kathy Fuller, Kathy with a K. Oh man, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of them came in all of a sudden. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Oh, um, the Moscow. Um, I'm I'm referring to. Um, maybe you've heard about it on your news. I'm sure it's nationwide. Um, there were four college students that were murdered in their rental house, and that was back in November. November, yeah. and. It just was very little information coming out from the police, understandably, but not everybody understands it. They, they can't tip their hand. They, they were working like mad dogs behind the scenes, but nobody, nobody knew. And so finally, almost two months later, they finally arrested somebody. And, and now it has come out all of the evidence that they have collected. So... People have been thinking they've just been spinning their wheels and not doing anything, and that's couldn't be further from the truth. So they have somebody, they have somebody arrested, and it, it's a big relief to have that done. And they're, they're about 30, 40 minutes away from where we live, and one of our viewers actually lives in Moscow. Okay, so I've got my sticky transfer down, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do the typewriter basically in black. And then I'm going to do the P.S. I love you in, I, I know, I might do I love you in black, but I'm going to use this couture coral for the heart because it's pretty, I like it. It's not, it's not super bubble gummy. Well, it kind of is anyway, but it's a little, a little section. So I'm going to start with my black. This is chalk paste. I sell this in my shop. This is chalk in paste form and specially designed to work with our silk screen transfers. Yes, Sandy, thank goodness. The whole college town and beyond on edge. Okay, so let me start with my black. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the squeegee. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do the I love you in black because a typewriter would type in black. It has been hard, hopefully. Yes, I'm, you know, innocent until proven guilty. I, I, I am a strong believer in that, but if the evidence holds up, then it looks like they've got the right guy. Very scary. Deborah says she likes the coral. It's a nice color for Valentine's. Yes. 
Okay, so I've got the paper, I've got the... Hello, Jackie. Hey, Jackie, welcome. Okay, I'm going to quickly do the coral. It needs a quick stir. I did reset the timer. Good for me. Okay, and I'm going to use couture coral. You can see this is pink, and so this is really a coral color. So it's what, pink mixed with a little orange? Oh, that was Tina Paquette. Tina Paquette. Okay, remember that name. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to peel and reveal. Isn't this awesome? Woohoo! Look at that. I am an artiste. Not really. I am a chalker. Okay. I'm gonna put this down on a dish drying mat. Angela Hersher says, is it washable service since it had wax on it? Um, let me, let me get, let me get, who was it? Who was? Oh, the first one was... Mm, no, you don't remember who Where it was? Where did she go? It keeps, everybody's putting it in. <laughs> jumping around here. Um, I don't remember who that last winner Tina, was. Tina Paquette. Tina Paquette, okay. Paquette, yeah. Tina, Tina Paquette. Tina Paquette. Okay, set the timer and then I'll answer that question. Okay, is this now reusable because I waxed it? It is more removable than normal because I waxed it, but and if I tried to take it off right now, it would probably come completely off. But if I let it sit for a while, the, the, the dyes are going to soak into that paint and so it may not, you may not be able to completely scrape it off, but you definitely could scrape off as much as you could, sand it and, and quickly repaint the back. So it, technically it's reusable. It's just not as easily removable as some of our chalkboard surfaces. So here is my Valentine's sign. And I'm going to, I'm not gonna clean this up just yet, but I'm gonna spray this with just some water so that when I go to clean it up, it's it's easier to clean up the paste when it's damp than when it's dry. So I'm gonna dry this up. So this is gonna be our Valentine's side. But like I said earlier, I'm not ready to decorate for Valentine's Day. I'm still enjoying not the Christmas trees, but like the snowflakes and the winter. So I'm gonna decorate the back with a winter snowflake themed little doodad so i don't have to i don't have to be quite ready for valentine's day but yet i'm ready for valentine's day hey amy welcome glad to have you here thanks patsy i love giving great tips i love i love it when you guys like ideas of mine because sometimes my ideas are Wackadoodle. Okay. Okay, I think that's dry. Let me put these away. And I know I'm not needing that. Let's put my lids on these. And I'm going to turn this over just so I don't just in case it's not completely, completely dry, I'm going to put it on a on a pad so it doesn't get accidentally scratched until it's completely dry. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use part of this transfer. It's called Feeling Frosty. It's meant to go on our um, block set, which happens to be out of stock right now, but I'm gonna, the great part about our transfers is you can use bits and pieces of them. So I'm going to just use the words Feeling Frosty and the Snowflake for my winter design on this page. Yes, double duty. Chalkboard surface that comes with the board and base can fit on this too. Uh oh, yes, it is thicker, so you do have to drill holes. But honestly, I don't, I don't mind so much the, the sanding and repainting. It really isn't that big of a, big of a deal, but you do you. Do you. Okay. Who's the name? That name. Deborah, Deborah Cross. 
And she said that particular design kind of settled for Valentine's, and she likes that. Yes, I like it. It's not it's not in your face. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's just, it's very kind of classic, the little antique typewriter, which I guess kids today have no idea what that is. Okay, where's my exacto knife i'm not going to completely cut these apart i'm just going to i'm going to keep the backer sheet intact because it's easier to store that way but i'm going to cut the little pieces apart just lightly and let's see i'm going to start with the snowflake i'm going to keep the white background because winter makes me think of white like blizzard conditions okay and I'm going to I'm going to kind of off center that you know what, should I do two of them what were I'll you saying about them. the big coffee up poster behind you got another comment oh. saying they like it uh yeah we did that on a live um you can you can look back at some of our on our page you can look back at some of our um past lives and watch the replay um if you are interested in, in the transfer, you can just make a comment to me and I will, uh, so the stand can go on its side. No, the, the, well, it could, but it'd be kind of funky. It's, it's really meant to go vertical, but. Okay, you're gonna get 20 centimeters of snowstorm, yuck. In the same way, anything that can be sanded and removed. Okay, so I'm going to do these in what I think of winter colors is shimmer silver. And this is a colonial blue. I like that, that blue. It'll show up really good against this white. I'm going to do my snowflakes in silver. Shimmer silver. And my shimmers especially need a little stirring up the mica flakes tend to kind of settle and separate so when i do shimmers i generally give it a stir right before i use it and let me get another squeegee i don't think the words i didn't think the words would fit the freeling frosty i think they will we'll see if not we're gonna make them fit okay so Shimmer silver, so it's got little mica flakes that kind of make it sparkle. So this is meant to kind of be in the background of the feeling frosty. Okay, and I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to put it back down again and I'm going to do another one up higher. So here's, here's our little snowflake. And then I'm going to uh, put it down right about there. Try not to, trying not to touch any of that wet paste with my sticky transfer. Okay, and I'm going to chalk this one same way. Now, if I needed to put down the sticky side into this paste, I would want to dry it first and maybe even put a little bit of wax on it so I don't pull it up. But I am able to do this without putting that sticky down in my paste. <coughs> Scrape that off and peel it off. And there's my background, my silvery stars. And I'm gonna put this here, spray it a little bit so it stays damp. I'm done with this, and I'm going to dry this really, really well. And again, because I put paint down on wood, and I'm gonna put something sticky on the top of it. Sorry, my nose keeps itching. I'm going to put some wax on because I don't want the stickiness to pull the paste up that I just put down. Yes, I love the silver. Can you put, can you put in, Put the in the dryer. Put the in the dryer. I'm sorry. Put the. Ask me. Ask me again with different words, because I'm I'm drawing a blank on what you're asking. And I put it in with the dryer. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm having 
mental moments all, uh, all the time, mental moments. Yes, I love the silver too. You know what, I don't think I, did I reset it? I don't think I reset it. I will, okay, I'll reset it for a really short period of time. Yes, they are very pretty snowflakes. Okay. And I do want them to be completely dry. The, the shimmers take a little extra time to dry. The banner, the banner, I think she asked. The banner. Mm, I'm not sure what banner you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably did, and I just don't remember. First time seeing this crap. It's very functional. It can be used for any of our vertical 5x7s, or it can even be used for bits and pieces of bigger transfers. Okay, so this is dry. Again, I'm going to put some wax on it to protect that silver paste. The coffee sign. The coffee sign is not a banner. The coffee sign is wood. If that's what the question was. The coffee sign is wood. We do have canvas banners. And I don't know. I mean, I don't. I have never had a need to wash any of my banners and put them in the dryer. But you could. They're fabric. Um, and as long as you chalked it with, not with the chalk paste, but with the ink. Did you yes. I'm sorry. I'm just so busy. Well, that would have been blah, 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 blah. Cross. Okay, Deborah Cross. Oh, we already have Deborah Cross. Oh, well, then let's we have her, so let's do the next one. What's the next one up? Oh, that was Mary Ann Lanzieri. First time, too. So if you don't know what we're doing, every couple of minutes when my timer goes off, we are looking for the last person that had commented on Bill's screen, and they get their name in a ticket for a drawing at the very end. So you want to stick around. Okay, so I've got, I've got these, and I've got them, I've got them waxed, and now I'm going to put over the top. I'm going to put my feeling frosty. Okay. And let's see. Let's give well, this. Well, I tell you, Kay's all over me. <laughs> yes, Kay will keep you in line. That Thank is, you so very that much. That is her Kay. spiritual gift. <laughs> you know Kay. Yeah, you I met know Kay. Kay. You know Kay. Okay, I'm just going to give this okay. a quick little fuzz, get a little bit of lint on this so the stickiness isn't quite so intense. And we are going to see if this fits vertically because I think it is. We're okay. gonna see. It fits. It, it fits. fits. Okay. I wish we had the other cameras going. I, I know. I, could go over the top I on know. This okay. This way. Okay. So we may go back. Okay. So I've just got that laying down right over the top of the silver, and I'm going to push it down. Especially because I'm going over a layer, it might be slightly raised. I'm gonna make sure it's pushed down really, really well. And then I'm going to chalk in Colonial Blue. It needs a stir. It says where are your stencils from? My stencils are from my shop. I am a um, independent designer for Chalk Couture, so I have my own little online chalk shop. So that's where I get my stencils. If you are interested in looking at any of the catalogs, you can type supplies in the comments. You'll get a link to uh, a bunch of things and you can click what you're interested in whether you want to see the supply list whether you look at if you want to uh, shop the catalog see what we have available and no pressure no pressure i am probably the least the least uh, the lowest pressure salesperson there ever was and it's showing in my bank account but <laughs> that's okay i have to be me okay that's a vibrant blue Ooh, we've got some really pretty blues but i like this this is one of our medium blues this is colonial blue and using a little bigger squeegee because I have a little bigger area to chalk. 
not a lot of detail that I have to work with. And let me peel this off. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Feeling frosty. I maybe could have, should have done it at an angle, but I like it. So now I've got a winter, I've got a winter decor piece. And on the back, I have Valentine's Day. So when I'm ready for Valentine's Day, boop turn it around. I'm decorated for Valentine's Day. Well, partially. And when Valentine's Day is over and it's still winter, I can whoop, turn it back around to feeling frosty because it will still be frosty here. Okay, that was the timer. Who was the name? Name, Bill? I'm sorry? The name? Oh, last name, I'm sorry. Um, I wasn't getting beat up that time. Okay. Uh, that was Cynthia Carwood. Okay. Cynthia. Okay, and again, it goes by what Bill's screen sees. So it might look different than yours. Okay, reset it. Back to drawing this. Now, the replacements. Remember when I used these, these are the ones that actually came with the frame and they already have the holes um, punched in them however the replacements are the same size but they figured maybe people don't want to use it with the frame and so they didn't punch the holes but that's a piece of cake with my my little quick dry tool i have a chop kit on myself i just need to bite the bullet and make it look simple do it girl do it do it Darren Angela, is, is that a, a husband wife name or is your name Darren or are you Angela or anyway, do it, do it, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? How many replacements come with it? Um, you get two, this is what actually comes with it. You get this frame and you get the hardware and then you get one of these in white and one of these in the wood tone but again you can paint the back of them so you really could do four designs on what comes with it and then you can purchase replacements so yeah. let me show you how i'm going to put the holes in it so i'm going and to well, a hole punch work that if you need it. my hole punch will work or if you have a crocodile it will work but this is our power punch and it I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay one of them down that has the marks already. And I'm going to get my pen out and I'm going to mark them in here. That's not showing up. I need a pencil or a Sharpie. Do -do 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 -do. And of course I can't find a pencil or a Sharpie when I need one. Here, use my pen. Okay. So I'm just gonna mark it so those go in the exact right place. It's not super crucial because they can, it can be narrower or wider, but you want them, you want them level. Okay, so here's my power punch. This is up, this is upright, but if you do it like this, you can't see where you're punching. So I like to turn it upside down and then I can see right in there where it's going to punch. So I center that there. And this works on wood up to an eighth of an inch. And I've got it, I've got it, you can't see that. I've got it centered in there and boom, super easy. So this is like a little miniature version of a crocodile for if you have ever, if you have ever used um, scrapbooking crocodile, but smaller, just makes one size whole, but it's super powerful. And without, with very little elbow grease, I, punch those holes in there. So let's reassemble this. So it comes with these little fake leather straps and some screws. So I'm going to, okay, Betty, Betty Hoopengarner. Betty Hoopen. Okay, I think we might have time for one more drawing. 
one more one more name okay so I'm going to put the screw through here where did you get the hole punch the hole punch is in my is in my um, shop I can't remember if I put it in the cart link if I didn't feel free to ask me some maybe somebody can go on and take a look and see if I put if I put the power punch in the cart link okay come on get started of course I can't get it started because I'm I'm nervous I'm on the clock Okay. Betty, we were both uh, teachers, we and so we have experience with some names. Yeah, a little bit. Some of the names that are out there now. Yeah. First, I'm watching from South Carolina. Welcome, Janet. Welcome. Okay, and let's do this one. Same thing. Let's do. Push that through. And again, we're on a couple times a week or more, so feel free to follow. You'll get noticed when uh, when we go yep, there's, on. If you want to get, if you want to sign up for notices, that you, so you get notified right before we go on. That's you can type in notifications, and you will get the list. Okay, so here is here is this is what I'm going to put up in my house right now, feeling frosty. And then sometime in February, when I feel like it, I'll flip it around and I'll have my little Valentine decor. And then I will, when Valentine's Day is over, I'll flip it back around to feeling frosty. When I'm ready to switch it up for uh, St. Patrick's Day or Easter or Mother's Day or whatever, I can, I can get another replacement. I can clean one of these off, sand it down and paint it over. And I can just keep reusing this over and over and over and over and over. Okay. okay, Kathy loves this sign. I do too. Anyway, so this is our double-sided A-frame. And again, if you're interested in any of the supplies, take a look. Type the word supplies in the comments and you'll get a link. And from that link, you can choose all kinds of information. Again, it's no obligation. No one's going to harass you. Take a look at it at your leisure. Um, I'm not going to take the time to clean these, but to clean them, I'm just going to take um, a paper towel or a what is it, a Swedish dishcloth and, and just kind of clean off the top layer. And then I'm going to use my board eraser, which is a lot like a magic eraser. And that I'm just going to rub off, make sure I get all the paste sponged off and clean out that screen. And they are reusable. Uh, company guarantees 10 to 12 times, but if you take good care of them, you can get 20 or more uses out of them. Okay, let's see. I am going to, I think we don't have time for one more entry. We're going to run out of time. Anyway, that's how you clean those. Let me pull, let me pull three names because we had, we had over 50, so I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Our first winner, let me know if you're here. No soap. Yes, don't use soap. You don't need soap. Um, okay, our first winner is Paula Hogue. Paula. Paula Hogue. Are you here? Paula. Check in if you're here, Paula. That's right, Sandy. You, I don't know if you're asking or telling, but no, you do not need soap. Just cleans up with water and a board eraser. Okay. Um, you and also have a blessed day. Thank you, thank you, Cynthia. And the next one, Shelly Estlinbaum. Shelby, Shelby Estlinbaum. Are Shelby. you still here? Paula, Shelby, okay, you're asking. No, you do not need, you do, we, we do not want you using chemicals because they will um, They will break down the, the adhesive. They may break down the material. So we just clean them with water. You can clean them under running water. That works great too. Okay, one more winner. Okay, Mary Mary Ann Lanzieri. Are you guys here? Check in. Shelby Estlinbaum, Paula Hogue, and Mary Ann Lanzieri. You are our winners. I will be sending you some happy mail. Um, 
within a couple of hours, I should, I'll reach out to you and get some more information. So I make sure I'm sending There's you Marianne. something appropriate. Yay, Marianne is here. Anyway, I'll be reaching out to you uh, to get some more information and I will be getting some happy mail in the mail to you right away. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining us. We hope you will follow our page. If you are interested at all in what I'm doing and thinking maybe you'd like to do it, but um, you'd really, really think about doing it if you could get 40% off, I'm having an event very, very soon on my page and it's going, we're, I'm just going to sit down and chat about all of those things, answer all of your questions. So if you're interested in at all in that, again, no obligation, just information, type RSVP, type RSVP in the comments, and I will, I will personally send you an invitation to that event so you won't, so you won't miss it. And you're welcome to catch the replay also. So RSVP, if you're at all interested in hearing about how you can get a discount and I think that's it. I think we're out of time. So again, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks for joining us from Craft Around the Clock. Enjoy the next presenter and we'll see you later.